Hey guys, Kaja here and welcome back to another review. Now today we are reviewing Rusty and Dusty. Now this isn't actually a suggestion, this is just a cars free review because I completely forgot about reviewing them considering they are cars free die cars technically. These two are not, I didn't bother getting them again because my ones are in pretty decent condition. Um, my Rusty has got a few more chips than Dusty, I think, I think yeah, yeah, Rusty and Dusty. Um, uh, I get confused with their names, but yeah, my Rusty is a little bit more chip than Dusty, but if I feel the need to get them, I will, but right now I don't think there's any point in buying them. So this is a Carl's Free Diecast review. Um, I just also want to let you guys know early on in the video, I'm going on holiday tomorrow. Um, it's from Saturday to Saturday, so hopefully I can find some cars out there. Um, other, but otherwise, unfortunately, there won't be any diecast reviews for that time, guys. So I'm sorry about that. Um, I might try and find some videos to do. Maybe, maybe we can do a Q and A out there. Um, possibly, I don't even know. I'm gonna have Wi-Fi, but we'll have we'll have to see tomorrow and through the week. If there is a um, review, that'll be really cool. If not, though, I'm sorry, guys, but it'll be definitely some when I get back. Anyway, we're reviewing Rusty and Dusty here. Um, like I said, they have been released uh, many times in the past, right from the first ever time they were released in the movie moments. Pretty sure from 2007, uh, which I have here. These are these are the very first time it has been released. So I got them the very first time. Uh, they've been released multiple other times, mainly in double packs until recently where they were released as a single. They've also been released in the Storytellers. Um, sing I think that's the first time they were as singles in the Storytellers um, series and then in like 2014 I think it was or 15 in the Rusty series they released as singles and then there's double packs again so they've been released lots and lots of times and the most recent one being the Cars 3 um, May 1st 2017 release um, so that you can still see it find that double pack loads in stores at the moment obviously um, they don't really have way to of the double packs out anywhere I've seen yet so you can find these guys in pretty much every store uh, which sells cars that has double packs anyway because I know some stores don't really stock double packs um, but some of them do but some don't um, they appeared in Cars 3 when they were on the phone to McQueen talking about the Rusty's Racing Centre um, now I'm not, gonna, not really going to say much else about that, they were seen at the Rusty Racing Center, but I'm not really going to say much else because I don't think the film has come out everywhere yet. From places like Italy, and I still have to wait till September, so I'm not going to say everything. But for those who if you watched the movie, you know where they were uh, seen. Uh, in Cars One, they were seen in the Rusty sort of sponsors tent with all the Rusty have all the Rusty um, other cars in there. A lot of them that were released in 2016 and 2015. Um, they were also seen in the little um, TV clip where no one knows where McQueen is and also right at the end after McQueen just comes back from pushing the king back over um, which is pretty cool um, they're in Cars 2, didn't see them at all because obviously um, Cars 2 was completely different and non-related to any of well, to Cars 1 and Cars 3 um, so there were their appearances. So there were some pretty decent appearances in the film. They're not massive, massive appearances, but there were some decent um, appearances, which is pretty cool. Personally, I like these cars a lot, and I do like the whole rusty theme. I feel like the derby cars have kind of taken over from the rusty scene, um, sort of because the rusty cars were all rusty and all that. Now these cars are all dented and all that, so it's kind of taken over from that. I kind of feel, uh, which is pretty cool. Um, that's pretty cool there. Um, now, I think we're going to start off with Rusty first, because I always kind of think of him as the main guy, although in Cars 3, Rus uh, Dusty here, sorry, kind of seems like he's the main guy, he's sort of had more speaking parts than Rusty, maybe because of uh, Rusty's um, voice actor from Cars 1 passed away, um, but I don't know, I don't think it was the same guy who voiced Dusty, it kind of did sound like him, but I think it is. Um, I, see, Dusty here gives me a kind of John Candy kind of impression, I'll put a picture up of him on screen, he's an actor from like the 80s and that um it's, it, the most notable film uh, was uh, i think uncle buck is also in cool runnings as well he kind of gives me that kind of feel i don't know because john candy was quite fat as such and so is he they got the same sort of they make jokes and all that i don't know that's just the kind of feel i get from him but i like these cars they're very homely and sort of nice friendly characters but yeah let's start off with rusty Alright then, so here is Rusty. I feel like he's kind of based on the generic sort of 
19, sort of eight, early 70s, no, early 80s, probably Chevrolet kind of thing. Kind of looks like something you see out of, like, I don't know, Jimmy Neutron or something like that. Some one of them the Nickelodeon TV shows, one of the cars you'd see. Kind of reminds me of that sort of feel there. I can't quite work out what car it is, but I reckon it's a Ford, most likely. Yeah, it probably is maybe mixed with a Chevrolet, something like that. Just a, just your generic American sort of sort of I don't know saloon car or such. I don't know how to what to say how to say it, but that's what I kind of feel like he is. He's a really cool car. I like this effect on the top as well. It kind of looks like hair, which is cool as well as it being um sort of just being ripped away because this is fabric. But yeah, let's get on to the actual review of him here. So as we start up to the front, we have this nice chrome bumper, which is cool to see it's still intact as a chrome. Now it doesn't like rusty too much, not focusing very well. We have his grill here, which is pretty cool. It's two lights, you can see bits of rust on his hood, although the earlier versions of him did not have as many as much rust as they do now. Clean wheels, which is also surprising again. This chrome piece down the middle with a faded muddy green, as you can see there. It's got his wind mirrors here, which are actually metal. It's plastic eyes, which is probably one of the first time the cars had plastic eyes. Uh, we have his convertible top here, like I said, fabric, so that all the yellow is where this fabric has sort of gone away and that, which is pretty cool. Uh, his windows there, pretty cool as well. It's all matte, this car as well. Just a bit disappointed the camera doesn't like it too much. We have the same wheel back here. It looks like fuel cap and whatever that writing says. Dart. Oh, maybe it's a Dodge Dart. Maybe it's, yeah, maybe it's some kind of Dodge Dart. It looks nothing like one, but maybe it is. Uh, on the back here, we have Rust. Yep, yeah, yeah, Rust, and then E's on Dusty. So that kind of says that his name's Rusty. I have a couple chips on there, but you can tell it's the chrome bumper. We've got his lights. You can see this is sort of maybe where the reverse lights would be, and maybe the hood latch. We've got some more chrome pieces here on the side as well. Same thing on the other side. And here is the base. If you're interested, just two codes, because it's an old car. You can see his exhaust and differential, all the engine parts are there. So pretty cool base, making lots of codes, which is good. Um, so that's Dusty, I mean Rusty, oh my god, I get so confused on both of these cars. Alright now, so already I'm having some issue with Dusty here, he's not staying in place. I think it's because he's quite heavy, but that doesn't matter. Now he is a Dodge fan, as you can tell there, no, no matter of a doubt that he is. Uh, a Dodge van, very cool. I like it. I like it. it shows his age as well because he's a very old van now. Cool style van as well. Um, you can see he's got a split window as, there as well. And you stand along, which is very common of these old sort of vans. He is very cool. He's definitely sort of more metal and probably better quality than rusty. Um, so we, if, as we start off, once again with this chrome bumper here, which is what used to be chrome, is now just dirt. Really, uh, we have this pretty cool expression there, sort of like he's, you know, he's like, yeah, I don't know, <laughs> it's kind of hard to explain. We have his two blinkers there, it's light, and uh, we have the Dodge logo there. We have this two tone color as well, maybe this is more, this is a green and a more beigey color, but sort of rusted as such. Uh, we have a split window here, they both have brown eyes as well, well more haze, it's more orangey brown, but they both have the same color eyes, forgot to mention that. His wind mirrors are, I can't tell if they're metal or plastic. I think they're metal. That's really, yeah, they're metal. That's pretty good detail for it being metal. Uh, but they used to do that a lot more back in the day. We have his wheels here, they're very nice. They do have different wheels, as you can see here. The rest of these are more gray and different, different sort of, they have more spokes. It's just basic white wheels. We have big door there as well, with the windows, which aren't actually plastic, like rusty they are. Um, metal so there's no uh, sort of plastic that they need to put in there you can see some of the dirt and rust down here not as detailed like I said this is the way it's got the most but nowhere near as detailed as the film but they're still cool we have four windows in total here which is pretty cool if you get to the back we have E's so when you put them together rust E's there we go rust E's is bigger there with the two opening doors at the back, which is pretty cool, you can see the handle there, two lights and his non-chromed bumper. <laughs> Same thing for the other side, for the exception of the door, as you can see, no door there. Door there. All the rust here, which is very cool there. And here's the base, a bit more detailed, but kind of the same, actually. Yeah, they're actually kind of, yeah, actually, yeah, they might be the same. Yeah, yeah, they're actually the same. Yeah, that's cool, he's just, he's made it a bit bigger. It's the same base, it's the same code. No, different code. 
not by much, but a bit more curved. Uh, so that's pretty cool. Once again, you can see his exhaust goes out through the side, so that is a difference actually. There you go. Whereas Rusty's just goes straight out, Dusty's goes to the side. Which is pretty cool. Uh, right, he's not going to stay in place again, so I might I'm have to like. There we go. That might work. There, there we go. <laughs> Yeah, um, you might remember also saying in cars their sort of motto kind of thing is don't drive like my brother, and then he often says don't drive like my brother as well. So that's their kind of like motto in this as well. Put so them back together now. If I can get them in the right position. Yeah, that's their kind of motto, and they're very nice characters. Obviously, I'm not to say anything else, but they did hand over Rusty's to Sterling. Uh, he's the, obviously the new owner. Um, so it's sad to see them go, but um, they're very cool diecasts nonetheless. Um, anyway guys, uh, there's not too much more to say on these two diecasts. I hope you guys did enjoy this review. If you did, please make sure to subscribe, like the video, make sure to turn on my post notification bell so you never miss another review. As always, I'll see you in the next review guys.